Hey geometry class, so welcome back from spring break. Hope you guys had a good break. Uh, before break, we had learned about all these different shapes. And so um, I will post this worksheet online. So if you wanna take notes on it, otherwise you can take notes on a loose leaf piece of paper as well. Um, we're gonna kinda go through reviewing all the different shapes here. So um, we're gonna start at the top and this is kind of like almost like a family tree that if you were to make a, a family tree of how you're connected to your grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles, this is kind of that same idea. It's just talking about all different types of quadrilaterals. So that's really what should go across the top is quadrilaterals. Which is essentially just a four-sided shape. So that's what I'm going to start with. So four sides is just a normal shape that if you just drew a haphazard four-sided shape, it would probably be classified as a quadrilateral. It's very unlikely that you would draw any of these specific ones without really trying. Um, we also know that in any four-sided shape, the interior angles add to 100, or sorry, 360 degrees. So since it has four sides, the interior angles equal 360 degrees. So if I added up these three angles, that equals 360 degrees. Now the point of this flow chart is to show you guys how everything connects. So the fact that arrows are coming out of this shape, pointing to all of these, that means everything below this will also have these two qualities. So they're all gonna have four sides and the interior angles will all add to 360 degrees. That's true of all of these. So. Um, so we'll start with our most basic. So this is kind of like the grandpa up here. Um, and all of his characteristics go down to all of his like offspring. So we'll go over here. And that um, here is our shape is our parallelogram. So that's the name of the shape is a parallelogram. We talked about that earlier in the chapter. And I'm gonna write all the specific rules about a parallelogram that are different than a quadrilateral, sorry. So a parallelogram has four sides. A parallelogram has interior angles that add to 360. But then it also has other qualities that we're gonna write down in here. And so I'm gonna put them inside of the shape. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here. That way you can see a little bit better um, as I write this down. So. In a parallelogram, these are things you hopefully already know. Um, there's four properties, so I don't know if you can fit them all in there. I'm just gonna kind of write it over the top and see what it looks like here. So I have two sets of parallel and also congruent sides. So two sets of parallel and congruent sides. Now, if you won't remember what that symbol means, parallel and congruent, write down the words instead but um, just trying to keep it a little bit more brief. So the opposite sides are both parallel and also congruent. That's what we know about a parallelogram. And we took these in our notes before we left um, school in March. Another thing we know is that the opposite angles are equal. And again, I'm gonna use the angle symbol so the opposite angles are congruent. You can just use equal if you want. I'm, you know, I'm not picky about that. The angles that are next to each other are um, supplementary, which means they add to 180. So um, we'll say the consecutive angles Add to 180. And then finally, the last one is the diagonals bisect each other. So those are all properties we had written down before. It's just that this is we're kind of writing them all in one place then. So sorry, I guess I'll go back in a little bit. So parallelogram. Again, this gets all those properties as well. Now the parallelogram is gonna pass all of its properties down to these two, which are rectangle and rhombus. So all of these properties go down to these. 
Now, the good news is there's gonna be less properties because I don't have to list everything that's up here as well. So rectangle is our next one. So again, I could list one, two, three, four, five, six different properties that would all go in this rectangle. But rather than writing those again, the arrows show that it implies that they have those same rules. What makes a rectangle special is there's four right angles. So 90 degree angles. And the diagonals are actually equal in this case. So they bisect each other, but they're also equal in a rectangle. So again, all these different properties. I'm gonna slide over here to our rhombus. This little guy here. And again, everything about a rhombus up here is also gonna apply down to our rhombus. There's gonna be three more properties of a rhombus I'm gonna list though that are, are special to a rhombus compared to a rectangle. So there's four equal sides, four congruent sides. So all four sides are the same. The diagonals are perpendicular. Hopefully that's fitting on there. And then the diagonals actually also bisect the opposite angles. So I'll write that out. You might have to look that one back up in your um, notes. So then, so again, now we're looking at this quadrilaterals, hand down their properties to the parallelogram, to the rectangle and rhombus, and then they both point to a square. So now our square, I don't have to list any other properties because everything that's listed up here will apply to this square. So all of the above apply. I'm gonna pause the video now um, to do a second half um, of the second half of the page, which is the kite and the two trapezoids. So um, just to keep my video a little bit shorter, I'm gonna pause it right now.